Hello YouTube. Uh, welcome. I just want to give you another video regarding construction perm loans. Uh, many of you out there uh, don't really understand construction perm loans or maybe you're looking to build or maybe renovate your home. A construction perm loan is a really great loan to do when you're doing major renovations or if you bought a piece of land and you want to build your own home. Uh, this is going to be a video blog on how to uh, what, what to ask. Uh, a lot of questions. A lot of my clients want to know different things about it and I'm just going to share with you some of my, my experiences and, and, and hopefully give you a lot of information regarding uh, construction perm lending. Uh, first of all, what you need to get started is have an idea of what your construction costs are going to be. You probably already at this point you're looking at or you've already met with a builder <clears throat> or an architect and you have an idea of what kind of home you're, you're going to be uh, building or a renovation that you're going to be doing and you have an idea of cost. Uh, there's two parts to a construction perm loan that you've got to look at. Number one is going to be lot acquisition, and number two is going to be the construction cost in itself. Now, lot acquisition means this. If you're buying a, 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 a piece of land and you're building a new home, your lot costs are going to be the, that very cost. It's going to be the cost that you're uh, buying the lot for. But if you already own your home and, you are, and you're building onto your home or doing an extension, your lot acquisition costs are going to be your first mortgage if you have one. Uh, the lender is going to require you to pay off that that mortgage that you currently have on your on your home with this new loan, and then they're going to tack on the, the cost to build, and you have one loan. Now this construction perm loan is really it's two loans into one. What happens is your your first loan uh, is going to be the construction loan, and that is one once you close on your loan. That's typically it. You, you close one time and the loan itself carries forth into a construction phase and then what's called a permanent phase or a modification phase. The construction loan is done by number one, getting the set of plans and specs and then an appraisal is ordered. The lender will determine or the appraisal will determine how much that house is worth once the project is complete and then they're going to base their loan to value on that uh, appraised amount and then they're going to determine how much they can lend. I've seen some um, construction loans today, they're a little bit more conservative, about s between 70 and 80 percent loan to value and anything above and beyond that in terms of cost is going to be, have to be used like a down payment uh, for you and plus closing costs and, and things like that. So um, we're going to that's a big thing, the appraisal is a big thing when it comes to construction perm loans and you need to have a lender that understands how that how they work and and don't get somebody that has never done construction firm lending because it's quite cumbersome another great thing about construction firm lending is the bank will do the work for you uh, during construction you've got enough to worry about you've got your, your type of cabinets that you want to put in the type of flooring the carpet and different things like that you're working with the builder with those the worst thing you can ever uh, have is worrying about the actual money and how to draw it. The bank typically administrates that construction loan for you and they'll draw out to the builder as requested. And also the bank has just as much interest in this house as you. So they want to make sure things are done things are done right. So the builder and, and the bank will, will come together in agreement on a draw schedule and that's typically six draws. Uh, and the bank is going to interview that builder and you need to make sure that that builder is also capable of, of performing. Uh, one thing we saw in the past with construction perm loans is builders not being able to form, perform and, um, and, and just homeowners getting stuck um, with having a, a builder and trying to find a new builder to complete the project. So you want to make sure, number one, your builder's experience, been around for a long time, has good inventory, you can, you can or, uh, get good recommendations and also they're financially capable of completing the project. Typically now lenders are going to take that builder and they're going to interview them, they're going to uh, try to approve them and they're going to look at their finances to make sure that they are um, approved uh, to, to help you complete your home. Another thing, uh, the builder uh, will be responsible before any draw is given to if you're pouring foundation that builder has got to be able to to meet all the way um, uh, the process all the way up until the foundation is poured and that's typically using your down payment with the builder uh, uh, and, and so, uh, d different other soft costs that might be involved that's between the negotiation between you and the builder. Lenders will, will most likely not uh, 
lend with your soft costs or lend soft costs. It's typically from the foundation on, and the lenders will not issue any money until the foundation's in place and after a survey is done. But then after that, it's like anything else. You build it, the bank will pay. And um, the builders, I mean, the, the, the builder's going to get his money. The lenders are going to do a quality inspection as well as a qualitative inspection to see what's, what, what's been done. And they're going to make sure also that your title's okay. Uh, you, you, you don't want to run into a circumstance where your builder's not paying their subcontractors. And we're going to make sure, the bank's going to make sure that before every draw, uh, your title is not leaned against uh, mechanics liens or subcontractors leaning your builder. And they'll put that lien against your house. If that happens, the bank's going to notify you, and uh, and it has to be cleared out before the next draw is given. So, again, the bank in itself is going to administrate, and that's something that you don't have to worry about. And, that would, and that's another great thing about construction and home loans. Now, the loan itself is interest only, typically, interest only during the construction. And what's great about it is you only pay during the construction loan on the amount drawn. Now, again, let's say you bought the lot and it's worth a hundred thousand dollars well your first month uh, your first month payments interest only a hundred thousand dollars and then you have five other draws on, on top of that typically and it, let's say your next draw is a hundred thousand dollars so now you're paying on, on a loan with two hundred thousand dollars interest only well once your house is complete and and, and your final uh, occupancy permit is issued the banks then gonna let you know uh, that your loan is due for what's called modification or the, it's getting ready to go to the permanent loan. Uh, some construction perm loans allow you to automatically modify into whatever you want in terms of a loan program, 30-year fix, 15-year fix, arms, so on and so forth. Or the program in itself is maybe locked in your rate of construction and it's the same rate on the permanent end as well. You need to check with your lender the type of loan programs that they have for construction lending, uh, but they're great loans there's really nothing to be uh, really afraid of uh, when it comes to this. It's a great opportunity, especially with this housing market the way it is. Not a lot of people uh, just want to get up and move. They just want to do renovations to improve their existing house and maybe expand. I would highly recommend you look into construction perm loans. They're fantastic. And make sure that you understand, have a lender that understands them uh, and also a builder that works with construction perm loans. Uh, and, and then you're set. You're all set to go. But for more information, follow me or subscribe or you can email me. Uh, but also check out my blog at marketposter.blogspot.com. I'll put some information on, on construction perm loans there as well. But I hope that this gives you a little bit more information. Thank you. Have a great day and God bless.